good morning kids welcome back to seventh semester i will be handling the course of power system deregulation for you in this semester so far you might have seen the technical side of power systems regarding the generation of electrical power transmission distribution and utilization but this particular course gives you an insight about the electricity markets because electricity nowadays is being treated like any other commodity where just like other commodity markets electricity markets also are appearing across the globe in each and every part of the continents even in india also we do have electricity markets which you people might not be aware of so the aim of this particular course is to provide you a complete insight into the new dimensions of power systems and in particular the electricity markets and also a comprehensive understanding about how the power system structure will be so operational structure what are the different organizations which are included in this power systems in our country that also will be discussed in this course so what the course offers for you after careful discussion with the experts from the industry we have identified few knowledge areas because we wanted to implant this knowledge area to you guys so the first area was uh, to let you know about the power system restructuring which is happening very fastly across the globe and what are the components of this restructured power system so we wanted to give an insight about these things what actually power system restructuring is and apart from that we wanted to clearly introduce you to the concept of independent system operator and what are the different types of markets and what are these genco transco you might have heard about genco generating electricity all the time but the role of genco differs in different types of markets so in the first unit we will give you what a market is in the unit number two we will provide you who are the different operators in the market and in unit number three the most important thing electricity pricing how pricing will be divided sorry how pricing will be decided and what are the challenges involved so that we will discuss in unit number three and unit number four is exclusively about the power system structure in our country we had electricity act 2003 and we are now having electricity bill 2022 so we will have a quick look about these two bills and how they change the electricity sector in our country okay so we wanted to give an insight about these things so based upon this the industry people they gave their suggestions that an electrical engineer who is graduated in 2022 or 23 should have this basic knowledge about restructured power systems so we thought of making you a skilled person particularly with these skills if you complete this course you'll be having these skills so these skills are number one is if you complete this course you will be having a knowledge about identifying the challenges in restructured power systems and at the same time what is the role of different operators in this restructured power systems and also you will be able to identify the challenges which are there in electricity pricing and how this electricity forward curves will be built and also as an electrical engineer you must be able to assess the impact of electricity act 2003 and also the recently edited bill electricity act 2022 so an electrical engineer must have this basic knowledge about these things and since he is an engineer he must be able to write a report and communicate effectively about his findings so these are the skills which we wish to impart in you apart from these qualities we want you to be honesty and effective in judging apart from this we want you to work independently and also in a group with a proper time management so with all this which we collected from the industry 
we have framed this course and the main job objectives which this particular course has are number one developments in power system restructuring power system operation in competitive environments electricity pricing and restructuring of indian power sector so these are the four knowledge areas so industry people have given us a lot of areas but we have confined ourselves only to these four areas and based upon we have developed unit wise contents and in these things if you carefully see unit number one was about restructuring introduction to restructuring so in unit number one i will give you an insight about what is restructuring and what are the different models which are adopted across the globe there are predominantly three models of restructuring which i'll explain to you very clearly so in unit number one we will discuss about restructuring of power systems the models and the different players in this restructured power markets what is an independent system operator what is a genco and what do you mean by exchange electricity exchange electricity markets market power so all these things you will find it amazing that these are the things happening even in our country also so unit number one is about electricity system restructuring and unit number two will be exclusively about comparison about these things so having learned about different models we will compare them and we will compare the role of each of these participants in unit number two and apart from this we will discuss about this available transfer capability also see as an engineer as an electrical engineer i am always must be aware of i should be aware of how much power i must be able to transmit for this transmission line based upon your technical knowledge you will be thinking that it depends upon the thermal constraints or stability constraints right apart from this there are other factors also that is not only the technical thing other factors will also be there so that thing we will be discussing in this unit number two and in unit number three we will be exclusively discussing about electricity pricing what are the challenges in electricity pricing how pricing will be decided across the globe and in particular rather than focusing on electricity pricing the mathematical modeling i will be concentrating on estimation of prices for the future so i will give a brief insight i won't go into detail but i will give you an overview about how the price curves will be what do you mean by future prices and forward prices just like you see in the stocks we will be discussing about those things and apart from that transmission open access so what do you mean by transmission open access see nowadays this market has become uh, well jammed with so many players public players or their private players or they are entering the market so many people are entering the power generation so how the transmission must be given access to all these people so that we will be discussing in unit number three and in unit number four exclusively i want to give you an insight about the structuring of indian power system right from 1947 what were the changes in this indian power sector being an indian and particularly you know that we have been celebrating the 75th year of uh, 75th independence day so we must be proud in the same time i will give you an insight about what is what has happened in the indian power sector right from 1947 to till what are the different phases and right now what are the different components in electrical power sector in our country okay so this is about unit number one to four so after completion of this unit i expect that in unit number four you'll be able to compare all the different types of models and propose suitable model for any markets and unit number two you must be able to analyze the activities of different people in the markets unit number three as an electrical engineer i hope that after completion of unit number three you will be able to identify the challenges in electricity pricing and unit number four i hope that you'll be able to understand this electricity act 2003 and electricity bill 2022 
and as an electrical engineer i hope that you will be educating the other people in our country that changes are inevitable and unavoidable okay and having that these are the textbooks and since this is a very advanced subject unlike your other courses i don't have any one particular textbook i do prefer three textbooks because i have taken up the contents from three different textbooks so but i want this you people the first two textbooks are very costly so i don't want you to buy all these things the third textbook which exclusively focuses on indian power systems you should buy that textbook at any cost it costs you somewhere around 150 to 200 so you should buy it book it on amazon you will be getting it in one week or so and you must bring it to the class okay and these are the reference books and finally you are having an uh, npdel course also if you want to go through an additional uh, material you can go through this abhyankar and karpade sir uh, from iit they are dealing with this course of restructured power systems and it is available on npdel so this is about the technical side which i want to introduce to you apart from that the teaching and learning activities you know me very well in the past semester also but i'll uh, try to give you a simple glimpse the first thing is tutorials guys you know that we'll be having a tutorial matrix and uh, every week we'll be having a tutorial session this is not a technical thing so we'll be having different case studies so you must go through the tutorial and the identified students as mentioned in the tutorial matrix should come to the board and solve the problems problems are not just like your numerical problems they will be case studies and coding assignments just like the previous thing this time also we will be having coding assignments don't worry even though it is not a technical uh, uh, course i will be providing you a glimpse about the coding assignments you will be having and i give you an option whatever the core software which you would like to use you can use that one i will give simple programs itself to improve your coding skills but ensure that you must be doing these coding assignments perfectly and special assignments just like you did last time i encourage you to write special assignments but this time guys you'll be having only one cp one crp one course patent one course research paper okay and finally there will be course projects, five course projects. The details have been published in your course book. Go through them. Try to do at least one thing. I suggested for you in the last semester also. And I am suggesting for you this semester also. Try to do at least one course project. It will add to your resume. It will add strength to your resume. Okay. And you know the assessment and grading. You have been going through this thing for the past three semesters. And my expectations, guys. I want you to attend each and every class, read the recommended textbook, go through the videos and work all the assignments and submit them before due dates. So attend, read and work. Okay. Thank you. And uh, I'll be meeting you on Tuesday. Thank you. And I would like to mention one thing. And this time, this particular semester, I would like to introduce video lectures also. So all the CDTs and SLTs the self-learning topics and CDDs. I'll be making videos and I'll be posting on the course web. So those who miss the classes or those who do have doubts, you can go through the videos. And everything will be dealt in the videos also. So immediately after my class, I'll be uploading the video. And if you do have any doubts, you can go through the videos and come back to me or mail me and I'll give you a reply. Okay. Thank you. Thank you one and all. and. Uh, I hope to meet you again on Tuesday. Thank you.